Greetings and salutations, YouTube. My name is Etchy Charm, and today we'll be doing a video on the Sylph of Breath. I'm still working on the endings to my intro, so sorry if they seem a little bit awkward until I can figure out a solid ending to them. So, with that out of the way, here we go. The Sylph is one of the two creation classes of Homestock. The passive counterpart to the maid, and the inverse to the prince. Sylphs are basically healers that heal any lacking of their aspect while also giving their opinion of their aspect. So they're kind of like teachers as well, I guess. They will meddle, fix, and heal whatever is lacking of their aspect until the lacking is gone. Their challenge is to not sit on the sidelines and to basically, you know, take action on their opinion, if that makes any sense. The breath aspect is the inverse of blood and has to do with the wind itself, direction, guidance, freedom, apathy, and separation and intangibility. Breath players seem to be guided by their aspect, like how John, the heir of breath, just, you know, just kind of knew where to go when it came to being in the game, like he just knew where to go. And Tavros, the page of breath, was guided by Vriska. Breath players need to learn how to keep an even balance between breath and blood. Not not to be too apathetic or airy. They need to they need to have enough freedom to know to be able to do what they want while also having enough blood to stay grounded and to keep the bonds that they have. Not just going in every direction in every situation that they're in. Now for the Sylph of Breath. The Sylph of Breath is the inverse of the Prince of Blood and would probably be a super fun, super easygoing person that would probably have a tendency of dragging people that they thought were too strict and uptight and, you know, drag them into their adventures and stuff. Or they would meddle with those that they thought were too clingy to others and teach them to be independent. They would be the kind of person that would think that their adventures and shenanigans were super important because, you know, they'd think that people should know when to have fun and not to be too serious. Now, with their powers, they would have the ability to heal damage to the lungs and the air, while also curing paralysis and stun status ailments and other such, you know, status ailments. They would probably also be able to heal the legs of others since, you know, that's how people move around and such, obviously. Maybe the Sylph of Breath might have been a smoker before they went God tier, and when they did, their lungs were completely healed. And... With that, I believe that is all I have for the Sylph of Breath. The next video I plan on doing will be on the Prince of Blood. I know, weird. For, I know, first I did the Maid, then I did the passive, the passive counterpart to the Maid, and now I'm doing the inverse of the Sylph. Probably seems weird. Anyway, next video will be on the Prince of Blood, and... I got some of the information on the Sylph of Breath from Donnie the Witch of Light, so you should know the drill. I'll put her I'll put a link to her Tumblr in the description below, so so please feel free to check her out. And subscribe for more videos if you you know like the content I'm producing now. And with that, I bid you dudes, dudettes, and others adieu. Bye!